Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're having a great October. I finally got my Tots Rob Zombie Michael Myers masks. I only got the 2007 version and the Dream uh, sequence version from Halloween 2. The one in the middle was obviously from the first one in 2007. Uh, before we get into that, the Art the Clown masks have finally come back into stock. That one right there is available and I have a whole bunch of others and planning on uh, once I get the the Myers masks done and out for Halloween I will have a lot of fun just bloodying up a bunch of Michael Myers mar uh, art clown masks I mean um, I'm thinking about doing four types so the options for art the clown are wearable clean which is uh, the clean look but with no eyes so that you can wear it or you can have clean display which is this which is the mask with eyes uh, inserted in there or you've got the bloody wearable obviously so you can wear it all bloody or bloody display which is you know like this but all bloody so I'll do a video on those once I get a few done and show you them uh, all together but yeah drop a like on this video for me gonna do a little review on these new masks and subscribe if you haven't done already and follow me on Instagram at Dean free free yeah just to mention about the art the clown thing again you can you know specify what direction you want the eyes to be looking in if you want a display mask you can say I want him looking to the left the right I want him looking up really kind of sinister so that when you tilt the mask down he looks really evil you can have him cross-eyed if you want if he's uh, feeling playful or um, yeah those are the options right Sue I do want to get the the first version of the mask from the beginning of the 2007 film, the clean one. I forget the specific name of it now, but I do want to get one of them for myself as well. Don't see myself rehauling them for people, because um, it already it just needs new hair. That's the only thing with these, really. They just need uh, rehairing. Like the dream sequence one is really good. Uh, I tried to make the hair look a bit nasty here. It looked a lot better when it was all wet when I was uh, doing this, but it's dried now. Um, but this is obviously kind of more from the scene outside in the rain and Then this one is just completely stock. They're all stock. I just mess with the hair a little bit But to be honest, you know, I understand to keep the price down the hair's got to be the way it is But it really is that kind of candy floss hair kind of it's very soft and fluffy and just not uh, How it should look for the Rob Zombie Michael Myers masks So I've got some hair, I'm looking forward to trying it out on these ones. I think it's going to be the right kind. And I'm just really looking forward to, you know, having some fun with these. It's going to take me time. Anything to do with blood and gore when it comes to masks, that's where I thrive. I love doing uh, blood on masks. And I'm even, there's a couple of little details. I'm, it's kind of gross, but I'm thinking about adding, so I don't want to say what it is yet. But there's just a couple of little details that I'm thinking of a way to add it into this mask. To make it even more gnarly. But obviously you're going to take the hair off, strip it and repaint it, bloody it up, put the hair on, make it look all nasty. Uh, I got two of this one here, so I'm going to keep one for myself and then I'll be selling another one once I do it up. And obviously I've got two dream sequence masks, I'm going to keep one for myself and rehaul the other one and let you guys know when it's available. But yeah, I really am impressed with them, as everyone seems to be. Like I said, I understand why the hair is the way it is, but even with that, it's a pretty decent looking set of masks, man. You get really, you know, quite impressed with them. So, well done, Tots. Alright, it's raining and it's windy, so the outdoor footage is going to be minimal, but that is the um, nightmare or dream sequence, but I've put gel in the hair and tried to make it look a bit more nasty. I haven't done anything to the hair on the 2007 mask. Camera is getting very wet, so this is going to be brief. So, yeah, it's blowing around in the wind. That's how it looks outside. Uh, and that's how that one looks. Windy. Windy. Now, I'm really not too into the, um, the one with half the face ripped away from the end of part two. I don't see myself ever getting any of them and rehauling them. So, no, I'm just not mad keen on that particular one. He's done really well on these. You know, the blood's pretty decent looking. The weathering's nice. And it's obviously got some washes over the base coat. Yeah, but the hair is just... It's just not thick enough. It's not its not coarse enough. It's just really fluffy and 
uh, quite soft and just not right for this look but if you've got no choice but to just buy a stock one and keep it the way it is you know especially with the 2007 one I mean I think both of them could look really good with just a bit of styling I mean I didn't do anything with this other than just use my fingers to kind of lift it off the scalp a little bit and this one it was just a bit of water you know and just twisting some bits of hair bringing it down around his face but I look forward to really going for it once the new hair's on there and the new paint and the same with some of the American videos uh, the, the tags were those big ones at the top of the head I don't like those but if you get them from Mad About Horror where I got mine you get the nice little tags on the side here that you can kind of remove and just put beside the mask when you're displaying it they're really nice I do like them very impressed though I, got, I just got to keep saying it <laughs> it's very good we've come a long way you know they've, they've really come leaps and bounds just looking at some of the rips in the neck here I believe they need to be added uh, you need to do them yourself and also you know make some of the cracks uh, more realistic which you know it's all something I'm gonna have to take me time with I did have a little look at some scenes on YouTube of the 2007 film last night just to kind of get an idea of what kind of color scheme I'm gonna be going for and uh, I'm gonna have to just watch the blu-ray because a lot of the YouTube clips are quite bad quality but I got a pretty good idea of where I'm going with this one I'm not sure which one I'm going to tackle first out of these two. I know that I'm looking forward to this one a lot because of all the blood stuff and the gore and making the hair look really nasty, but this was the Michael Myers that got me into it in the first place. He was the one that started it all for me as far as being a Myers collector. So this one does, you know, does have a special place in my heart. I'll just turn them to the side. I did notice this is the best one out of the two of the um, 2007 masks that I got. The other one, the hair is very lacking at the back. There's just not much hair at the back. There's nowhere near as much length at the back as there is on this one. So a little bit inconsistent out of the two that I have received so far. Uh, the hair on the other one just isn't really adequate. It's just there's big gaps and big ball patches and just not enough hair on it. But this one, I got very lucky with this. I mean, this would be easy enough to just do a wash over the top and just enhance the details a little bit. And the hair doesn't look too bad. But when you start doing your research and looking at the hair on the real mask, you just notice it's just totally different. It's just way too soft. But there's definitely a lot of detail in the mold here. Yeah, really, really looks even in this state the stock mask it really does look just like the sculpt the mold from the original film which apparently it is you know apparently they use the real molds to make these this really cool you know for the price you're actually getting the movie mold mask from what I hear and then this one just awesome really lovely detail on this it's all stock all those cool cracks very nice and you get to the candy floss <laughs> still not too bad and then over here the bloody side which I cannot wait to have some fun with this ooh it's going to be nasty <laughs> Yep. Beautiful. So yeah, I definitely recommend them. Absolutely. They probably are, all in all, out of all the Tots Michael Myers masks that you can get at the moment, these very well could be at the top of the list. These are a lot bigger. These are more like that kind of Halloween Ends mask size. Uh, 78 mask, that kind of size. Uh, I just put some padding, some pretty thick padding at the top of the dome on the inside where your head rests in the mask and it just makes it fit a lot better. But yeah, I'd say these are, you know, as far as the Myers masks go, pretty much top of the heap at the moment as far as Tots releases. Yeah, the hair could do with a little touch up, you know, replace it with something more accurate. But the actual masks and the paint jobs that you get when you buy them stock, very impressed with it. 
just give you a nice close up and then I'll put them on the rotating base and let them just turn and look how shiny that blood looks there nice and wet looking that's cool it's very nicely done there's the close up here nice kind of weathering and rotting around the cracks and more gnarly blood action Yep. I mean the detail on these is so kind of crisp that you may not necessarily need to strip these in fact that might be a real pain in the butt because of how you know kind of separated all the parts are all these little rips and tears that could be a real pain in the butt to do because <laughs> it's hard enough stripping an H40 or an ENDS Captain Kirk's been stripping those lately they used to be in my head anyway the Captain Kirk's were quite easy to do but lately I just find I have to strip them to get the better results so they've turned into a bit of a pain in the butt as well but yeah, it's all worth it in the end but I don't know that's why I'm going to take me time and think about it I'm not sure if stripping this is necessary but we'll soon find out in 2007 we we'll just get close up here turn down the brightness yeah really very crisp HD detail on these definitely not a smooth surface like the kind of stuff I'm used to working on to be honest this is going to be a different get the fish but a very fun a fun learning experience you know just been a big fan of this particular mask and the Tyler Main Myers and um, years ago that I got this figure as the neck a quarter scale rehaired and repainted love that piece I don't know if tots are intending to do the coveralls for um, the Rob Zombie Moyers I know they're um, doing their 1-6 scale figure I'm looking forward to seeing how that turns out this is a custom one here showed it recently on the channel it's John Wick <laughs> I don't think you're going to be able to stop the guy behind you John look at the size difference forget about it it's over all right let's put them on the rotating base and then we'll wrap it up I'll give you my final thoughts and a score out of 10 might as well just for fun all right so the 2007 just see that turning check out the hair at the back so like I said the other version I have is just really lacking hair at the back there's big bald patches and it doesn't come anywhere near past the ear like it does here it's more like stops halfway at the ear which just looks weird so I'm glad I got two because if the other one had been my first impression I would have been pretty pissed off but this one is really good alright now we'll take a look at just one of the other dream sequence masks alright dream sequence with the ratty hair because it's been in the rain uh, this will look so much better with the different hair this just I, I noticed as I was wetting the hair and twisting it with my fingers it was just coming away in my hands it was just falling out like crazy so be careful with that folks I'm gonna try um, well, I won't go into the details of what hair I'm using just yet because in case it's the wrong one don't want to steer you in the wrong direction but you'll see soon enough once I rehaul one of these we'll see the results and then I'll know whether to move forward using that type from now on on these particular masks. Just getting close here. Very impressed with the gore, the blood. I do love the way they've done that. Alright, so wrap it up, give you my final thoughts and score at 10. What's that you say? Please let us see the Arthur Clown mask rotating on the base before you wrap things up, Dean hurt you and will respond with a little bit of action of up clown here turning with the eyes green eyes like david howard thought uh, i think about doing one of these with the 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 poor morgue dude his eye 
and bulging out. I can do that. I uh, just need to find out what colour his eye was. Was it? That, yeah, I remember it didn't match Art's eye colour. Maybe it was brown. So, looking forward to trying that out. That will be available at some point and we can request it. If you want. But yeah, that's how it looks on rotating bees. It's mighty fine. I'll get in touch if you want to art the clown mask. I've got a bunch of them ready to go. Uh, if you're in the UK, you can definitely get it before Halloween. At the time of me filming this, it's like the 18th, I think. So, if you want to art the clown with the eyeballs or something you can wear, maybe you want something you can wear with some eyeballs separately in case you decide to do that later on, talk to me. I've got some glasses too. Those ones. So, do not hesitate. These are amazing masks, man. They really are. If you're an art the clown fan, you definitely need one of these from me. Alright, so final thoughts are definitely get yourself the whole set if you're a big fan of the Rob Zombie films. You can't go wrong, they all look fantastic. I will get the blank one from the beginning of 2007. Like I said, I doubt I'm ever going to be getting the one with half the face ripped off, just not a fan of that particular one. Um, but these, the dream sequence, they are really, really good. And the 2007 is excellent. So definitely recommend them. Been a long time coming, so glad they're here. And I'd probably grab them now rather than later because I can imagine these are going to sell out pretty quickly and then you'll have to wait a good while for these to come in again. The Art of the Clown Mask took a long time to come in. They've been out of stock for almost, it feels like a year. I just couldn't get them in the UK. Um, so I you know, swooped down and grabbed as many as I could because I fear that's going to happen again. Art of the Clown's getting very popular. That Terrifier 3 teaser trailer is going to be dropping November 1st in the cinemas with the re-release of Terrifier 2. So it's all going to kick off again. It's going to be fun. Uh, so score out of 10 for the 2007. I'm going to give it a 9. You know, obviously if the hair was a bit better, I'd get a 10. But 9 still a very, very good score. It's an excellent mask. Highly recommended. Same for the dream sequence. It's a 9 out of 10 as far as I'm concerned. If the hair was better, it'd be a 10. But absolutely fantastic mold, the sculpt, the paint work, the blood work, the rotting, the detail, very very happy. 9 out of 10. Hair needs replacing. Uh, if you were just going to replace the hair and leave the paint stock you wouldn't be too bad. I think you get away with just a couple of washes over the top of this and you can bring out the details. Uh, maybe, yeah, that's all it really needs for most folks. But obviously if you want, you know, it is from the mold of the movie so you might as well, if you can, uh, you know, if you're able to completely rehaul it, it seems like that's definitely worth doing. Not many videos on YouTube yet of that being done. And I was kind of hoping just to see a few other people do it before I attempt it. Although I'm looking forward to that. It's going to be fun. But I'm sure the videos will start coming out soon enough from different artists. And yeah, 9 out of 10 for both of them. Uh, the Art the Clown masks, if you're wondering, I never really scored them out of 10. But once you cut the eyes out, because the eyes that come with the mask look really silly, do that you've got yourself a 10 out of 10 mask it's just excellent so yeah yeah right i'll see you soon take it easy oh the howling custom werewolf is on the way tomorrow from the usa so it shouldn't take too long about a week and it'll be here spider-man 2 is out tomorrow at midnight it's already downloaded on my ps5 although still got finish four h40 masks and get them out to people before halloween so I may not go near Spider-Man 2 until that's done. I don't want to be sitting there trying to enjoy Spider-Man 2 and thinking I still need to do those H40s. Uh, they're all about, I'd say, 40% done each. So I'm going to try and finish them off in the next two days and maybe put off playing Spider-Man until that's done. But very much looking forward to that. Maybe I'll let you know my thoughts on the game uh, later on on the channel if you're interested. And, um, yeah, still waiting for a... W Dragon Indoraptor. Bit of a subject change, but yeah, that's one of the things I'm waiting for. I did order the uh, Trick or Treat Studios smaller 78 Michael Myers figure from Big Bad Toy Store. That's coming. I'll be reviewing that. Uh, like I said, the custom Howling Werewolf that's coming. That looks amazing. Uh, I'll just show you a picture of what that looks like, actually. Yeah, so this is my custom Eddie Quist uh, 1 6 scale Howling Werewolf. I'll tell you all about that and who made it and where you can get it and all that stuff once it gets here and I do the review. I am looking forward to that. But completely custom, absolutely incredible. I think he's going to be really tall. He is 1-6 scale, but 
yeah, they were big in the film, so <laughs> it's going to be crazy. Yeah, there's a picture of it in the light box. Really, really nice. So yeah, I can't wait to bring you the videos on this. It's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, there is a video as well. You see, you can see it turning and stuff. But yeah, I can't wait to get my hands on this. Love the hands and the nails. So that is coming soon, folks. I just watched The Howling again recently, so I'm really in the mood for it. It's going to be sweet. All right, you fine, folks. Again, I hope you're having a great October. And oh, also want to mention, sorry I haven't been replying to a lot of the comments because I've been in the garage doing masks. I've been in there for nine, ten hour long stints, just until my legs give out basically because in the garage it's like kind of really hard stone floor so the longer you stand there your knees start to give out your back starts hurting your ankles are killing you but you have to get the work done so i'm just in and it's cold as hell as well in the garage i look ridiculous in there wearing like three t-shirts two hoodies and a big furry jumper and a beanie um, but it gets the job done but yes point being sorry i haven't been replying to all the comments i just i'm so stressed out you wouldn't believe how many messages you get around this time of year when it comes to masks so i'm trying to deal with all of that and i will um I, you know reply to you guys as soon as i can and i'll be doing a live stream at some point before halloween and i'll be sure to say thank you to everyone um but thank you for all the support guys and all the love really appreciate it i hope you're doing well and let me know how you're doing in the comments and i'll see you real soon take it easy bye bye